Welcome to my YouTube channel Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. In this video, I would like to explaining on explosive welding process. So let us start with the working principle of explosive welding. So just you can see in case of uh, explosive welding process, basically this process it will be utilized to make a joint onto a large size of a sheet metals. So in a explosive welding process, two kind of setup is being used to performing a joint. So first one that will be known as a parallel stand up. So in which a anvil is being used to providing a support to a target plate. So target plate in simple way that will be the one of the sheet metals. So this target plate it will be placed onto a anvil. So that will be providing a support and another plate that will be known as a flyer plate. So this flyer plate which will be parallel with a target plate and this flyer plate which will be connected with buffer plate as well as a explosive with a detonator. So both the fire plate and target plate which will be parallel so that will be known as a parallel standoff. So by the detonators the explosive is being burned and with the applications of that accelerations onto a flyer plate. So which will be used and that will be used to make a joint onto a target plate. Another side as you can see the similar kind of arrangement but both the target plate and flyer plate which will be having a some angle. So this angle around 4 to 5 degrees. So just you can see the setup for a another side. So that will be known as a angular standoff. So similar way anvil is being used which will be providing a support to a target plate and this flyer plates which will be having a alpha angle with a target plates. Onto a flyer plates it will be the similar kind of arrangement buffer plates is being used and onto that that will be explosive with a detonators. So what happens into the explosive welding just you can see in case of explosive welding that will be known as a solid state welding process in which the detonations of the explosives is used to accelerate the one of the workpiece. So basically that will be flyer plate because explosive that will be in contact with a flyer plate. So what happens the one of the workpiece to move towards the another workpiece so that the impact creates a joints and completes the weld. So if both the target plates and flyer plates which will be parallel so that will be known as a parallel standoff if both are having a some angles so that will be known as a angular standoff. Now we will see the description and uh, operations so just you can see that will be the metal is being used or you can say target plates and onto that it will be having a standoffs so that will be the clad layers or you can say flyer plates onto that that will be the explosive with a uh, detonations. So by the detonations it will be explosive is being burned and these clad materials or you can say flyer plates which will be flyer towards a uh, metallic materials. So with this applications you can also performing a cladding onto the sheet metals. So that distance it will be known as a standoff distance. So in descriptions and operations the one of the workpiece are called as a base plate rest onto the rigid base or you can say anvil while the other workpiece called as a flyer plates is inclined at a pre-selected angles usually around 5 degree to the base plate. So a buffer usually made of a rubber or you can say cardboard in place of above the flyer plates to prevent the surface damage of the flyer plates due to the detonations of uh, explosive materials. And explosive materials you can use as a TNT or you can say RDX materials. So basically that will be not easily available. So these materials is being used for uh, explosive materials. So these explosive materials in the form of the seats is placed above the buffer and is ignited from its lower edge. As the detonation force progresses across the flyer plates, a very high compressive stress wave in the order to thousands of the megapascals sweeps across the surface of the plate. This causes the flyer plates to move rapidly towards the base plate 
so that the impact creates a joints and completes the weld onto a large size of a sheet metal. The entire operation is carried out in a chamber to prevent any accidents causes due to the detonations of explosive. So just you can see the different steps for explosive welding process. The first one that will be the plain material inspections. So that will be the welder zones and that will be a alloy cleaders. So by a grinding matting surface, it will be need to be a clean both the surface. Into the third steps, assemble backers, cladders and explosive. So you should arrange according to your requirements of the joints. So that will be the welder metals, clader and onto that explosive powders. So some space that will be between the plates is being required. Four steps that will be the explosions. So what happens the explosive powder is being explosions and these cladder materials now it will be having accelerated towards a welder plates. So this that will be uh, known as a target plates that will be the flyer and onto that that will be the explosions. After this that will be the flatten and cut. So as per the requirements of the joints sometimes it will be the rollers is being used to making a proper joints. So that will be the rollers is being passing between the two materials. So one that will be known as a flyer plates or you can say second one that would be a target plates right so here it will be a you can say that that will be the welders and alloy cladders so after making that flattens and cuts now it will be the time for testings and inspection of the joints so this is the general phenomena or you can say steps for a explosive welding process so some of the advantages of explosive welding Bond strength of weld metals is very high. Age preparation is not required. No melting of base metal. No filler metals is being used. Dissimilar metals can be joined easily. Some of the disadvantages. Storage and use of the explosives are dangerous. Detonations of the explosives can damage the workpiece. Hence the workpiece with high impact resistance only are suitable for this process. Not suitable for thick plates as they require high detonations velocities. Some of the applications used for cladding of cell of metals for a purpose of corrosion prevention. Also dissimilar metals such as titanium to steels, aluminium to steels etc. can be successfully welded with this process. Now just you can see there will be the lots of applications of explosive welding process. These sheet metals that will be used into a shipping industries. Or you can say cladding of the metals onto a vessels. So for a corrosion prevention both the sides that will be using a explosive welding process. So into a chemical industries into a shipping industries that will be having a lots of applications of explosive welding process. So I hope you understand this. If you like this, then subscribe and share Modi Mechanical Engineering tutorials. Thank you so much and keep watching.